there are days when I, with, I, I'm still not getting used to the idea of that, you know, calling her my wife. But there are days when I, I call her uh, wife. And it, it sounds cool, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> celebration of the fourth edition of the Filmfare OTT Awards, I am in conversation with an incredible artist who has given us great hits like Kai Poche, Badai Do, Monica Oh My Darling. He's inundated the Bollywood space as well as the OTT space with his wonderful, marvelous performances. You know who I'm talking about, of course, Rajkumar Rao. How does it feel to be known as successful as well as immensely talented? That's a rare combination. Honestly, I don't know it. I think everybody has a different definition of success, right? Like for me, success is when I get to do the kind of work I want to do. For me, money, fame is, is not, they don't come under success for me. Like I'm, I'm very happy for last two years, at least two, three years, I've been very conscious about the kind of content that I would choose and I would be a part of. And there's the list, of course, Monica, Badhaido and Guts and Gulabs and Kiri, they come under that. So I'm very glad that I'm doing, I'm a part of such fantastic, beautiful stories. What is that uh, one defining quality which sort of sets you apart, you think? I believe that I'm a, I'm somebody people see that, you know, I'm one of their own. Like I've come from nowhere. Identity. And identity. People relate to, I think, uh, me and my characters a lot and my journey in a way a lot. And I think I'm, I'm also somebody who works towards it. Like if somebody would give me a character, I would try and my first thought would be how to make it believable. You know, how to not make it filmy per se. You know, people should believe that, oh, this is actually happening with someone. And I, or I know a guy like this. So that's always my, my first attempt in any of my characters that I play. You're such a good guy off screen. Uh, how does, how do you tap into your evil side? <laughs> I think all of us have those emotions inside, right? Uh -huh. uh, and as an actor, that's my job. If somebody gives me a character like that, it's my job to... Display truthfully. Uh, I think the most evil I've been uh, was in Omerta, which I, I think I was it was a really dark period of my life as well. You know, at playing that character, it was very disturbing mentally. Uh, not happy to be in that mental space. Uh, uh, but I think all of us have that have those you know uh, personalities inside us, just that we keep them subside. You know, uh, because we don't want them to uh, to come out in front of the world, or because we don't like that that trait of uh, us. Or in some cases, we have seen people like that in real life. So we take, you know, inspiration from those people and try and imbibe those character traits in our characters. So it, it's a mixture of a lot of things. Uh, I would say, of course, you take something from your yourself and then you observe from life, pick it up. I do that a lot. I pick it up a lot from, from life. From so there people. is a craft also. There is, there is, of course. But you can't course. define it or identify it. Yeah, of course, of course. There's a, there's a lot of, uh, as I said, there's a lot of practice and there's a lot of rehearsals and, and hard work behind that. Uh, that effortlessness, actually, uh, as they say, there's a lot of effort behind that effortlessness. Yeah. Say, when you read something like a Badhai Do, mm. uh, what is it about that character? I mean, I, I specifically want to pick up Badhai Do and Monica. Yeah. Uh, what is it about, I mean, I know you are very LGBTQ friendly and all of that. And uh, there is a certain empathy you uh, mm. Uh, when you won the film fair, you yeah. dedicated your award to the LGBTQ community. But uh, generally, when you s what was it about that role? It's a difficult role to essay. It is. It is. Uh, especially the last 20 minutes of it. Because otherwise, it's uh, you know it looks like a very light-hearted, fun film. You know, two people trying to manage their life uh, uh, and, and in this arranged setup of this marriage. Uh, but deep down, I knew that there's much more to it. And the credit should go to my director, Harshwat Kulkarni, and our writers, you know, Suman and Akshat. Uh, they did a lot of research. They've been writing uh, this script. They wrote this script in almost three years, three to four years. Uh, and I'm very glad that I'm a part of it because a lot of people, when I now when I step out and during the release, the kind of love and messages I got for Badhai Do, I've, it has never happened to me. You know, it has helped so many people, so many boys, girls out there who were just not able to gain that kind of strength to come out in front of their families or, or you know, friends. But I do gave them, gave them that strength. A lot of people told me that, you know, uh, I took my mom to watch the film. And when the film got over, both of us were crying, of course. And then I came out in front of her. And she understood, thanks to your, your film. So I think 
so cinema has that power you know it, it can it can change people's perspective people's mentality you know you mentioned uh, your mother i mean obviously yeah. the scene with the mother what was the kind of relationship you had with your parents i'm very keen to know was it a democratic relationship or was it like you know bauji kind of thing <laughs> or was it uh, did you have ever ever have such heart to heart moments with your parents oh yeah with my mother for sure my mother i i still talk to her you know it's been uh, almost 7 years that she has left us and my father left us in in uh, 2019 but i still talk to her like my my for me my mother was the the greatest woman that i could ever met she was a fighter she was my best friend i would tell her about all my uh, girlfriends in school you know school mein banti hai ek eighth mein bani ek twelfth mein bani so i would tell her ke okay, mom this is the girl you know and uh, and she would say ki yeah bring her home if you want to talk guys you know sit here only and talk ka tum log bacche bahar jaoge she was the coolest mom and she had this unreal uh, faith in me you know coming to the city from gurgaon financially not doing that great it's a tough city you know and uh, not knowing anyone so i would there were days i would call her that mom it's been i don't know a year nothing really is happening and then she like don't worry you know it will all work out just just be sincere keep working hard and it will happen just be at it it will happen and then she would arrange for some money from uh, from like some extended relatives and then put it in my account so that you know i could live here survive here uh, she was the coolest i think i'm i'm so glad that she could see a little bit of you know what we were talking earlier about the success part of it in the national award she was there in the ceremony with me uh, but even actually in badai do i don't know for some reason in that scene when i turned because sometimes you know you feel very lonely even now there are days i feel very lonely of course patrulekha is there and and she is my world and she is my everything but there are moments you know when you really miss your parent that you know i wish my mom was here especially if somebody you know is something is not working out sometimes someone is struggling for some reason and in badhai do that happened you know i i turned and for a second i saw my mom uh instead of uh, uh, the actor shiva ji and it just I think it just everything just the dam uh, was the dam just burst it then and there and then of course Shardul took over but for a second for a split second I saw her I don't know why like it it, it happened yeah but with parents yeah like my my father of course was busy working he was in a in a government job uh, but my mother was I think she was she was just very cool yeah my only regret in life is that you know I wish I could spend more time with her. I was shooting for Newton when she passed away, and I got the call, but that hurt me, and that's the only regret. But now I think I've, I've really kept her alive. I I talk to her. I I know she's there. Her blessings are there. Yeah, and parents never leave us. I think I tell this to all yeah, my yeah, friends who lose their parent. I say, listen, they're not gone. They're here with you. Just that maybe not in physical form, mm. but they'll always be there with you. Don't worry. You know, you yeah. talked about relationships. Uh, like you've lived in with patralekha for so many years and then you you're married has marriage changed any equations it's beautiful i'm so glad i'm married you know it's a i just feel complete i don't know I like don't know what, what completes else. like you were complete always even as a couple yeah i was we were complete but i think it just uh i'm nothing i'm nothing against people who decide not to get married i think each to his own but i feel this you feel like you know your world is 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 complete now like you come to this this world alone with your parents and then you meet someone uh, who you love truly and then you're like now what you know let's be one you know in, in front of god let's take those vows and let's be there for each other for eternity and and for many many a lifetimes uh so i just feel i just feel it's it's a beautiful institution i we're still of course like how we were uh there are days when i with i i'm still not getting used to the idea of that you know calling her my wife but there are days when i i call her uh, wife and it, it sounds cool of course i think what she saw in me was my sincerity and my passion towards my work and my honesty towards uh, everything and and people around me uh and what i saw in her was her again her her passion of course her and she's very empathetic there's a lot of empathy in her and and she is a she's a leader and and she's somebody who has uh, without even ever you know uh, underlining it she has made me a better human being 
and in every department not just uh, as a person as as you know uh, like i i really i really didn't understand the world you know i i was in a joint family living my life acha actor banna hai to acting mein ghus gaye aag ban karke sari duniya wohi ho gayi so i didn't really see the world you know uh, that way she she taught me a lot of things without even realizing it but what I was what was struggle like was it like uh, it was nice i really enjoyed the the struggle part of it as i said you know it was it, this was the only thing i always wanted to be a film actor a movie actor and i uh, i came to the city in 2008 i was living with two of my friends in a very small house and my only thing was i would go out every day in the morning and would meet as many people as possible i was i carried this small shori kind of a thing with me like a dvd with i made a cover also of it like printed uh, those covers cut them manually and and pasted them and made it like a proper nice dvd this may fpi ka jo bhi kaam tha wo sab rakha tha usme ki i would meet as many people at least i have to give three dvds like a salesman ki aaj to mujhe ye teen bechne hai to teen to dene hai aaj mujhe kuch logo ko ke producers ep casting directors assistant casting casting directors whoever possible so i would just be out whole day and there were days of course uh, i won't eat because there was no money for lunch uh so i would have chai i used to have a lot of chai earlier i think with theater ki other thi delhi theater ki uh so i would just have chai and and then go out again and, and audition uh and meet as many people and in the evening when i would come back home and of course every day you can't give auditions right they just you're just standing outside for 2 hours to meet someone and that person would come and say ki ah sahi aap apni photos email kar do you know you can't do anything you're like yeah sure and then you leave but one thing i which i was doing was every most of the days i would come back home and work on my art form i would do some kind of acting work you know a couple of my classmates would come back come together and or sometimes i'm alone i would enact a scene i would improvise i would do something for 2 hours and that would make me very very happy what is it about a film that makes you say yes or no i mean it's in order to like for example monica or my darling mm. when you say You know, the, you walk this fine balance between being loathsome and oh, he's a nice guy. Yeah. You know, so uh, say this uh, film, for example, how did you approach it? So Vasan is a friend, is a really old friend, and I'm I'm very fond of him. He's a great guy and a and a thing and an incredible filmmaker, and I loved the script. I think Shiram sir was involved in in the writing part of it. and i read it i thought it was very engaging uh, i thought it could be but how do you write such a film on paper like obviously it's been made put together when yeah. you see yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. how course. do you put such a film it's very complex it is very complex so exactly that's what happened during i think uh, for the first time it happened with monica uh, for me also when i read it i liked it a lot while making it also I like ha achhi hai achhi ban rahi hai maza aa raha hai but when i saw the film i was blown away i think vasan has done so much to that film how he had put it all together you know that bgm from 90s and i'm falling from the rooftop in high speed and there's a ghazal going in the background dil hai chota as like this is magical so i think vasan has done all that even i was don't know even i saw it you know sometimes you feel ki ha achhi hai achhi banegi achhi achhe log jude hain achhi banegi and i'm like what this i didn't imagine that happened with monica with But I like the script. I think there were great people attached with it. You know, Sanjay Raut, Ray, uh, Matchbox, Sri Ram Raghavan, Vasan Bala, great cast. Huma is a dear friend. Radhika, all good actors. Siku. So it would be fun. It would be fun to be a part of this film. You said about friends. Uh, I mean, Jaydeep Palavat is your classmate, yeah. and you know, I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of other people from FTI. Yeah. Vijay movies. is a classmate. Yeah. Vijay is a classmate. So, uh, do you all ever sort of? Uh, sit together and jam and says, "Oh my God, do you remember this?" And you know, <laughs> catch your breath that everything overwhelms uh, you. We haven't in a while. Like I, I keep bumping into them at different occasions, and there, of course, we 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 talk about things, uh, especially if the last book I've seen of of Jaydeep or Vijay. So I I make sure I call them, or if we are meeting, I I tell them about how I felt about it. Uh, I remember watching Patal Lok, and I went nuts so over it. I went crazy about Jaydeep's performance. I've always liked him, you know. Since FTI, I think it was a there was a lot of depth inside him as an actor. But when I saw saw Patal Lok, I was like, this is a hungry actor. You know, an actor who's waited for 13 years, and look at him now. He has come and he has sweeped everything. I think it was just a great performance. I was so happy. You know, you feel very happy. 
when you see your classmate doing well, giving a good performance. For some reason, I think because that's that connect is there. For two and a half years, we all worked together. We have skied each other, you know, at the lowest and and at the best point in life. So I, I felt very proud as a as a friend as a brother. Kaipuchi was one of the first films we actually saw you, yeah. uh, you know, come to. I think Shahid was released around the same time. Same year. Sure. Same year. Uh, how do you manage uh, both? And was 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 Kaipuchi like do or die, or was Shahid do or die for you? Both of them. Actually, we finished Shahid when we started shooting for Kaipuchi. Shahid was done. We started Shahid in 2011 and uh, finished in almost nine months to a year. Because of course, whenever we would get some money, we would oh, pesa aage chalo shoot karte hain. Then again, wait, kabi pesa aage. Oh, pesa aage chalo shoot karte hain. So it took us almost nine to uh, twelve months to finish that film. But I had, a, as I as I said, I had a. I love Shahid. It's one of my most special films of my career. Uh, and that association, I the relationship I had now with Hansal sir because of that film is is most special to me. Uh, but then we started shooting for Kai Pushe. Uh, in 2013, I think in, in May 2013, and that's where you know Manish was there, uh, Manish Hari Prasad. So I spoke to him about Shahid, just like that. You know, we have made this film. Uh, it's a very low budget film, but I think it's, it's something special has happened. And he said, "Why not show it to me?" And that's how the conversation started, and they liked it. And then I think Ronnie sir saw it, everybody saw it, and then same year Shahid and Kai Pushe release, and one of the best years, of course. National award happened, film fair happened. Yeah. Is there fear of typecasting? Like yeah, that? that's that scare is always there, uh, but not when you're doing a you know part two because you're anyways it's in continuation with what you've done. The same character you're just taking it forward, yeah, so yeah. that that's uh, not an issue. But apart from that, I think it, it's up to you because people here are ready to typecast you. They would if they want, they would only make you do uh, like it, especially now people think that you know oh, we like watching even comedies. So if you leave up to them, they will only give you comedies. But you have to consciously make that decision that no, I'm not only going to do comedies. I'm I'm going to do dramas. I'm going to do Mr. and Mrs. Mai, which is a very beautiful soul film relationship drama. I'm going to do Shri, which is very challenging part and a biopic, inspiring story. And then I'll do Shri too as well. Uh, so I think it's up to you. You have to keep saying no, and you have to keep finding those stories and those parts which would not uh, make people you know typecast you. What are the temptations of an actor which you or pitfalls which you consciously try to avoid? Temptations. Money. No, not really. Not really. Like someone offers you a crap script but lots of money. It has happened. Yeah. It has You've happened. You've said of no course. to money. Of course, of course, of course. I've done films for free also. Like Trapped, I was. Uh, I didn't take a single penny for Trapped because I wanted to be a part of that story and I wanted to work with you know Vikram Mudpani. It was anyways a very small budget film. Uh, so for me, money was never never the motivational factor. Uh, but temptations would be same. I think what we were discussing earlier that you know something that people like you in and and that works also, and then you keep doing that. You're in that rut that for the next ten films you're doing the same thing again and again. I can't do that. It's it's very dangerous. Yeah. Is there a film that you would have loved to be a part of? I really am a big fan of Rang De Basanti for some reason. So I think just as a film, I would have loved to be a part of it. Of course, at that time I was too young and I was studying at FDI when it released. Uh, but yeah, Rang De Basanti is that one film that I was. I wish I was a part of that. We end this lovely conversation with Rajkumar Rao. I hope to see him at the fourth edition of the Filmfare OTT Awards. Stay tuned.